Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Debt Free Farm. You join me as we are in turbine grain here. Uh, we're just selling off some of our oats. Uh, it's been a lot of grain selling. There's been a lot of things happening since we last spoke. Uh, reason for that being, uh, I had an episode planned to go out today, being Wednesday, but the audio on it wasn't very satisfactory, so I decided to can that and we're doing it ourselves. Uh, we're doing it all again. So. What that means is a little bit to kind of catch you up with, which we'll go and do now. A few changes that we've made. We've sold off a little bit of grain. We've got 126,000 in the bank right now, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we're going to see what that looks like, really. See how we can spend that. Uh, so that should be pretty exciting. Uh, so lots to kind of look into there. We, we've made it. Well, I've made a bit of a decision. Uh, we're going to break through our safety net. Uh, we've always had a safety net of about 100,000. We're going to break through that because I want to increase our land a little bit. We're going to buy a field that's not the biggest, but we can get a crop of grass off it first, and then we're going to plow that in as well, put some uh, cereal crops in there, really try to kind of increase everything. So that's our plan. Uh, we're going to have to get working on it, but yeah, it should work out pretty well. Uh, but it'll be nice to be able to sell some, uh, get a little bit of extra revenue coming in from different locations. We've got a few, we've got a field that's about ready to harvest as well, so that's going to be good news because we'll be able to get a little bit more revenue there. It's 100% fertilized, so yield should be fantastic. Uh, certainly hoping so, and then we'll boost that back up. And then once we get that done, there is a list of things that I want to do next, really, in terms of growth. Uh, there's one more bit of a, maybe two more bits of equipment that I'd like to buy. But more crucially than that, there is also, uh, this is uh, a field, second field that's coming along very nicely. More crucially, there's uh, some changes to the yard that we want to make, and it's about time we start thinking about making those, because uh, we're only getting bigger, really. Uh, we need some space to store all our equipment, and bales, and things like that. And also get ready for some chickens when, they, when they're ready to go. So, a few things that we need to kind of factor in there, really, I would say. Bounce around here, wash off the wheels. So this field on our right, left here is ready to go. It looks great, as you can see. So I'll have to have a look in on that one very shortly and get that all up and working. Grass has been grown as well, so we started doing some uh, mowing and just about finished that. So what we're going to do, we don't have a bale still at the moment, so we're going to get everything mowed and then try and get the combine done as well, uh, all at the same time, then at least our baler. And the good thing about that is, looky, 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 we bought ourselves a combine, folks. Now. I think I alluded to in a previous live stream, but I'm also going to let you guys know here. What we've done is, uh, I've gone into the files of the machinery, and according to websites like uh, Tractor, Data, uh, Farm Trader as well, I found the most expensive version of a machine uh, in question, uh, and then I have uh, adjusted the value. And what I mean by that, the combine here was about 48,000, I think, starting price. The highest value I could find on a used uh, British farm site, uh, farming trader, was uh, like eleven or twelve thousand. So I upped it to about seventeen. So we've got a little bit more realistic pricing of machinery there. So it should make it a little bit more interesting. But crucially, we have a combine, which is great news. Really, really good news. A huge step up for the farm. That means now we can also look into. Um, do that. We can now also look into contracts for combine, so that's huge, that's really good. We're going to park this in here for now. Just stop you there. Now what we can do, uh, like I say, we've got a combine, we, we have no baler at the moment there. We do have quite a bit of grass in this field though, which we're going to get bailed up at some point. Uh, probably not today, but we'll, we'll get it all finished mowing. Uh, which we'll jump into now and actually finish that off, so that's another job done. But yeah, good yields on this one, I'm expecting quite a few more bales, which would be nice. More is more. Get this away, and yeah, we'll finish this one off. So as you can see, it looks like a much thicker crop there right now. This field over the hedge there still needs a little bit more growing to do, but we're going to always keep this field as grass for now, because it's just a good cash crop for us at the moment. Uh, like I say, what we're probably going to do with our size bales is stack them all up at the moment there. We're not going to sell them just yet. We're going to keep them until Seasons is in play, uh, and then when we have a period where we need to get some more revenue coming in, we'll look to sell the silage off. So that's going to be the plan there. We might need it just to keep bills ticking over there, or to get some more grain or something. Uh, but yeah, it's always a good idea. Uh, and then balers are the next option. I've 
managed to find a baler that I brought in that I haven't adjusted the price of the balers yet. I haven't looked at that. Uh, let me know down below in the comments below if you think we should do that. But it's currently looking at around about uh, 25,000 25, for a class uh, baler, uh, which will do the job that we need perfectly. Um, we might well do that and just keep it as it is. Or uh, I have another plan as well. It's depending upon the cost, this is we can get a because that's an ex expensive acquisition that I'm not willing to make yet, given how little we actually use the baler. That being said, we're, we're trying to use it more and more, so I think that, no, maybe we just have to bite the bullet on that one. Uh, we do have some more wheat, uh, barley, and oats to sell. Uh, probably about, uh, I think it's in the right region, about 30, 35,000 uh, litres all in total. Uh, so we can get a bit of extra revenue for that. The price for wheat and barley just isn't that great right now, so we're going to hang on. I think it's going to be best for us just to kind of wait and see what that price does so we can achieve the ultimate from our, uh, from our crops. Particularly because we've got another field of wheat that we're about to go and harvest, so if that price is going to skyrocket, then we want to capitalise on that where possible. Um, but yeah, the field we're going to buy is very cheap, not too big, but it's local. Uh, it means that we can actually build out our farm a little more, which is kind of what we want to aim to be doing anyway. And yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll probably put some fertiliser on it at some stage, then we'll um, mow it all, bale it, clear off the bales, stack them up somewhere somehow. And uh, yeah, and then get that ploughed over, really. And we go here. So how you all doing anyway? Hope everyone is well. Uh, like I say, we did have a plan to get another video recorded. In that video, we did a lot of grain carting and mowing, and we also took a contract. We spread fertiliser on field 12 in the very north east of the map. I got about £4,000 for that one, which is good. Uh, and we will be looking to do a few more contracts like that as well, because it is just a very easy, very lucrative uh, uh, lucrative job, really. Oh, I missed it. And away we go. So it's a toss-up now between what's going to be looking like my favourite maps at the moment, between uh, Greenwich Valley, uh, Perfect Valley looks incredible, the new map from Tomek65. If you haven't seen so, there is a mod review on my, uh, well, there's a first look on my channel, and there's also a uh, live stream from yesterday, uh, which you must go check out, it's a brilliant looking map. And of course Meadow Grove as well, which looks like it's developing nicely, uh, so I can't wait to see how that comes along. But yeah, lots of good looking maps coming out these days, and we haven't even got to some of the uh, Oxy's latest work. Alright, so nice and easy, that is done. Lift that up and fold it up. So yeah, nice looking crop on here actually. The plow over uh, should uh, bail up very nicely indeed. We've got a nice little uh, boost here. There's eight silage bales on the other side of that hedge. So what we might do is just stack them all up there continuously until we get a, a, a fair number. Which will be nice. Uh, now this guy goes in here again. Now I've been thinking about the expansion of the uh Oh yeah, I need to lower that down there just slightly. Am I gonna have enough space in there now? Let's find out. Yes, plenty. I've been thinking about the expansion of the yard. Uh, as you can see, we're already getting a little bit clustered here, and we've got nowhere to store straw, anything like that. My one concern is I don't know if these sheds here are seasons ready. I don't know if they are. Uh, so what we might have to do is bear in mind that that would be, because that's the default from the map there, once the map is seasons ready, this one might have to be our, like our bale storage. What I want to do is we're going to expand the yard out through here. We're going to, let's say, square off a big chunk, probably to, I'm thinking to around about here or so. Uh, I'm gonna get these these sheds uh, that we've already been using are nice and cheap actually. Uh, in that one. Now yeah, these guys here are super cheap, which is makes me think that's gonna be the best option to go for. Just so we have another shed, something easy to get in and get going. Uh, and by doing that, then yeah, it allows us to have that immediate storage. Really, um, I would love to get something a bit different, but. Some of the costs of these are astronomical. The only other one I was thinking about as well, 
uh, was I can't even find it. It's in here somewhere, but it was a bit longer. What we'd have had to do with it would be uh, to kind of line it up down. It might be in that one. Uh, to kind of line it up a long way, so it would have taken a lot more. Because what we're going to have to do here, don't forget, is level this ground off a little bit, uh, which will cost a bit of money as well. So we're going to have to start from about here and just kind of level out the square. So we'll look into doing that, and then we'll bring our chickens into this field as well, and still get a little bit of grass at the bottom, uh, which should work out okay for us. Uh, now, what I'm also thinking, when it comes to balers, we do need to think about balers soon. We could do two approaches to this. We can go for a class Rollant. Now, this is there's two rotor cuts. Uh, the Rollant rotor cut 250. We won't be able to use that one yet because we don't have enough power in our engines. That guy has the chopper there. We don't. We can't afford that one. Well, we can afford it, but. We can't uh, power it at the moment. Our tractor's around 100 uh, horsepower max. Um, so the other option would be for this one, which is a bit cheaper and it's 80 horsepower. Good looking bailer nonetheless. And it'll pull everything and do everything that we need it to do. So that's the one we'll probably look to get. I'm also... I'm also curious about this. Like we could get a small bailer like this. There is an autoload trailer we could find, uh, whereby it would be able to work as well. We could definitely look into getting something like this. Again, I want something that just sticks the bales onto the floor though, uh, so we can just pick them up behind. So at 2,000 bucks, well, nearly 3,000 pounds, that's gonna be a great option, I think. Let me know down below in the comments what you think if we should do that, uh, because that would be nice to do. It's a bit more of a classic bale, that'd be a bit more, a bit more interesting. But yeah, certainly something we can look into for sure. Uh, for now though, I think what we need to do, we're going to buy a new piece of land and what we're going to do right now, we're going to dip below what we always had as our safety uh, kind of threshold. Uh, we're going to drop below there just to make sure that we can actually uh, progress a little bit. Now we're not going to go too crazy. We do want to keep a sizable cushion there for us right now. But I feel like we're at 100,000 at the moment there we can afford to uh, be a little bit more liberal with that given that we're about to start to harvest as well. Uh, so we're going to do this. And we're going to go to lands. Now the field that we're going to look into buying is this odd shaped triangle here. It's not very expensive, 56,000, so it's going to take us down to around 70,000-ish. But it just means that we're starting to build out this block. These guys here are obviously a lot more expensive, 72 and 82. But if we take on this one, then that could be our next uh, progression. Or maybe even at some point onto a, another arable field there. Uh, but this is kind of continues to allow us to spread. We get a little bit more revenue in from a crop there and it'll allow us to kind of push forward quite nicely. Uh, so that's what we're going to do and uh, yeah it shouldn't take too long to pay back the field actually which would be nice um, and we're going to as we're going to harvest this field uh, we can then once we've harvested the field we can start to work on that one as well so that's pretty good so we buy that and now we've got four fields to call our own we're at 69,000 so uh, we can definitely work with that one what we're going to do right now though take this guy Take this guy, I'm going to head on over to the field directly ahead of us, which we have to go around the road to get into. We're going to set the combine and start taking some headlands off, I think. See how the yield does. Uh, see how it's all looking. Like, the idea is, like I say, we're going to wrap silage bales on that field that we've just finished mowing, so we'll get this field all knocked down as well, so the baler can come in and have two to hit. Uh, and that'll keep us kind of... keep us going on track, really. There we go. But I'm excited to see what we get in terms of the yield there because yeah, this is the first time that we've actually harvested our own large, uh, large uh, crop really. Our first 100% uh, fertilized, no weeds, full yielding uh, crop of wheat. So very intrigued to see how this pans out. We'll just park you about here for now. Maybe not right there. our way back through the trees there. Bring out the yellow beast. Beautiful combine actually, really really nice. This is the modded combine from F uh, Forbidden Mods there. It's not quite the original in game, it has a few different features. You can actually change it between a New Holland and a, a Deutz farm. Uh, but no, it's still pretty cool all the same. 
just looks stunning. The like quality on it looks really good. I, with, when you see the quality of this, I can't wait to see what the uh, in-game class dominate looks like from the Platinum DLC. That should be brilliant. That should be very nice indeed. And we'll have been disconnected. Beautiful! I do like a classic uh, harvest. Using some of the other equipment there is really quite something. Very much enjoyable. And this uh, Greenwich Valley is perfect because you have so many smaller fields in there as well. So even if you have got the small header, I think the one behind me is a 14 foot. Uh, so it's not the biggest there, but it doesn't need to be. So it handles everything exquisitely. Excellent. Traffic's nice and quiet today as well, which is always a delight. Can we come here and let's just... Get this stuck in the corner. We don't need to move this tractor at all now. We haven't got anything else to do with it whilst the air... Whilst waiting, so we'll leave you there. Let's go and get the beast back running through the field again. But as you can see, as we come through the crop here, we're at 100% uh, fertilized, no weeds, nice clean looking crop as well. Perfect, absolutely perfect. There we go. So what, what maps are you guys all working on at the moment? Do let us know down below that. If you're still on Greenwich there, uh, waiting for seasons to come, hopefully very shortly, uh, let me know what you're, what you're getting up to. Which maps are you looking forward to in the future? I know Purbeck is going to be a fan favourite for many, and rightly so. Alright then. Need to find some space. Turn this beat around. We might just go straight out there, I think. Play thing. Excellent stuff. I know where we go. I know what it is. Whilst I do really like the uh, larger new Lexids of the world, I do actually really enjoy driving this old combine. Something about it. Although maybe taking out a bit of wall there wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I have to look into that at some stage. There as well. Good days. Watch the bottom of the combine off now as well. So as you can see, the field that we just bought there isn't the biggest, but it does have a little bit of grass on there already. And we will come in and get that ploughed out once we've taken the bales off. Uh, we might even put some fertilizer on it first, get a better crop of bales, see how that all looks. That could be something we'll look into in the live stream there, just get that uh, turned around, uh, whenever the next live stream will be. Alright, and in we come. So with that, we're going to get ourselves away here and we'll probably leave it there. Just a little short update really more than anything else. Uh, just enough to, so you guys can see what we're doing. 
how it's all looking there. We'll unfold the combine. We're going to swap our straw because we want to sell absolutely everything we can here. Let's get a firing up. Oh, look at this go with our own combine harvest for the first time. Superb! We'll take this first headland off, then we'll spin around and go the other way. Uh, so we can put the old route over the headland there. There's a lot of trees around here, I did go quite close to the edge, so better be a bit careful of that. Yeah, like I say, the combine tank is filling up nicely and we are going to be flying. Absolutely flying around here. One thing I wish that we could do is, uh, when you're not using the straw chopper on this uh, combine, just for it to be folded out of the way, really. It always looks a little bit silly having it kind of down at the back there, but never mind. Plenty of dust coming off here, though, which is fine. We're currently 12% in the tank there, so... Well, we might get three quarters of the tank by the time we get around. Maybe not quite. There is also a bigger header that we can look into for this combine, which that might work out pretty well, so we can increase our capacity without really spending too much money. That'll be a nice little trick to go for. Uh, we'll see how that all comes out, though. Twenty-five percent, maybe halfway around. So, like I say, not the biggest field, but still doing pretty well. Uh, we'll get a fair bit off here. We'll probably just go in. I'm tempted. Half of me thinks I should just sell this straight off. The other half of me thinks I'll stick it into the silo and just wait for a better demand to come around, um, which would make a lot more sense. That being said, it would be nice to kind of boost our coffers back up a little bit, uh, just to make sure that we don't, you know, that we can start to repay back some of our uh, purchases of late always important. Although we might just continue to take some contracts as well just to kind of cover for that. With these two tram lines are where I finished my uh, course play on this field. I've come back into it. I did take those out quite nicely. Alright, just like that, we are done our first headland. We're going to skim off this second headland and then we'll, call, we'll leave it there for there, I imagine. Um, so we're going to continue with this for either right now or in the live stream and uh, we'll keep you updated with how it all looks and goes. Uh, but yeah, excited to kind of get going now. We're slowly building, we've got another field, we've got some plans for uh, future investments as well, which would be great. So keep an eye on how they all transpire over the coming weeks and uh, episodes. Until next time though, I have been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one. Until then though, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, happy farming.